Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a full moon reading. This is for the full moon, the upcoming full moon. I believe it's right around the 19th. I think it's on the 19th. Uh, keep in mind that the timing is fluid. I think the energy is very uh, intense for about three days. So anyhow, what do we have for the full moon? Okay, right around the 19th. Oh, we got some cards. We're going to go ahead and take them. Vine, seek out information that will help you. Spear, heartache over what you no longer have. Bag, something important such as a new job or raise. Ladder, climbing towards success. So this full moon is about seeking out what will help you climb the ladder to success. We have somebody here that is in a place of heartache because they have lost an opportunity. There is an opportunity because of that bag. There's an opportunity. There is an opportunity. But we have somebody here that needs to seek out the opportunity. There is some sort of heartache. There's heartache over not having it as of yet. You have to seek it. You have to go for it. What do we have for right around the 19th? Stiff competition, stiff competition. Time to set new goals. It's time to set new goals. And it's pretty interesting because I'm gonna show you what's on the bottom of the deck. I believe this is a Taurus full moon. Taurus is all about stability. It's all about security. It's all about, uh, you know, Taurus is very much focused on their money. They're focused on their, their home, their finances, their job, uh, their stability, um, groundedness, reality, practicality, being practical, being stable. Uh, I think it's time to ground yourself, to get practical, to, to really focus on what is going to bring you stability and security at this time in your life. So I feel like this full moon and money, we have that money bag. Taurus is very much about money because they bought security. So let's get one of these. Time to set new goals. There's competition here. If you want to beat the competition, you have to set new goals at all times, continuously. coming from a Taurus. Mmm. The hanged one. We got somebody, this is the hanged man that is thinking, right? It's time. It's just about time to emerge, right? I feel like, I feel like we have somebody here that has been in a period of waiting, right? Waiting for the, waiting for the right moment. They've been in a dark place, going through a period of growth, going through a period of probably awakening. They needed this time to learn something or grow. Somebody needed to go through that, whatever it is that they're going through to get to the point where they're ready. They're ready for the new life. They're ready for the new world. So I feel like it's time. It looks like it's just about time. It's time to show up, right? It's time to step into the new world with the new you, right? <laughs> time to set new goals. The time of reflection and healing and cultivating and Growth, I mean, it's never, growth is never over, right? You're always growing, but it's time to get out there, right? It's time to show up. It's, it's time. It's time to stop hiding, right? It's time to live. 
to show the world what you got, right? Who you are. Flexible, flexible. You're gonna need to be flexible during this time, be able to adapt to change, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and read that card because I like to read from this book. <coughs> Teachability, open-mindedness, being adaptable without compromising what's most important. A tree's roots are solidly planted in the ground, yet its branches can bend in a hurricane. Whereas a rigid structure like a building would come crashing down. Consider how the tree remains supple and secure when everything around it may be in shambles. This is how you need to be now. It's interesting about, I was talking about security, but this says you need to be flexible. Willing to learn new things, teachable, malleable, yet firmly grounded in who you are. Common sense is important, but so is an open mind. Stay curious, stay open, stay aware. At this time, others will be more flexible with you too. In every relationship, it's important to be open to new experiences and learning new things. Letting go of rigidity is what is required right now. You don't always have to be right all the time, do you? It's okay to come to a happy compromise. You can still get your needs met. It's a beautiful day when you meet halfway. The appearance of this card in a reading could also signal that you have met someone new who may not be your type, but will turn out to be so special that you can easily release your old ideas about what sort of partner is right for you. It's interesting because the hangman is inflexible, right? It is. Be flexible. You'll be happy you made that choice. Be flexible during this time. Even when you have a clear vision of how you're going to manifest something, what it will look like, who, will share, who you will share in it, and what will then be available to you, you still need to relax and be open to other possibilities. Spirit may have much better plans for you. It could be a job you hadn't thought of, a new source of money, or some other opportunity that eluded your imagination. Be flexible and remind yourself this or something better manifests for me now. Then be willing to bend. Be willing to bend a little. Enjoy your miraculous results. So you need to be open to a new perspective. Be open. It's time to come out of that womb, right? It's time to be open to what is. Open to all the possibilities. So this is a time where you're going to be presented with new possibilities. You have to be flexible enough to take them. Once you take them, once if you are open enough to take them, you will climb that ladder to success. And there's a lot of suffering about what you no longer have, but it's like you're fighting it. It's like you're fighting change. You're fighting uh, adaptability. You know, if you're not willing to grow, then you're not going to have any new, anything new in your life. So anyhow, seek out information that will help you be open-minded. It is definitely time. It's time to set new goals for your life. You will be given an opportunity with that bag, you know, and right next to the ladder. You're going to be given an opportunity, but you have to be willing to... Uh, make some compromises and bend a little, right? So what do we have? What do we have for the full moon? Four of swords reversed. Now the four of swords reversed is exhausted, tired, emptiness, feeling empty and lonely and need. Somebody hasn't been living the best life. They've been, there's been some sort of time out, right? It's been a time of reflection. There's some sort of stress here, right? That's very stressful. We have somebody here that's been suffering. They have been suffering. Um, there's a lot of pain here, but the Four of Swords Reverse is fed up, very, very frustrated. You know, there could even be some health issues. This is feeling isolated. You know, there's been a lot of pain and suffering. 
Eight of Cups reversed. Eight of Cups reversed is pretending to be happy. This is superficial. This is a wild goose chase, right? It's going back and forth, wanting to leave, but not leaving, avoiding. It's avoiding, refusing to move on from an emotionally disappointing situation, right? This is no spiritual growth. We have somebody here that lacks self-esteem. They lack self-worth. It's like they want to go. They want to leave. They're exhausted. They're, they're tired. They're sick and tired. They're fed up. There's, this is an empty space, right? There's a lot of emptiness. There's a lot of loneliness. There's a lot of isolation. But they're refusing to move on, right? The Eight of Cups is staying put in an emotionally disappointing situation that is absolutely exhausting, right? It's draining. It's, it's mentally draining, Pretending that everything is okay. That's the Eight of Cups reverse. It is. It's like I got you know you gotta go, right? Or wouldn't be here. But staying put. Five of Swords. Now the Five of Swords is betrayal. It's defeat. It's in uh, conflict. So we do have some sort of conflict here. We have somebody here that has control issues. They have control issues, you know? They, they, they wanna remain in control. They don't wanna lose their control. So they're staying right where they're at because right now they have the power, they have the control, and this person loves to be in control. There's some sort of control issues here. We may have somebody here that is too afraid to leave. Maybe they're afraid to walk away because they're afraid of what this person is gonna do or something like that. Um, Ace of coins, that's huge. We got a huge opportunity here. This is a new investment, it's a new job, it's a new security, it's a gift. It's huge, we have a huge opportunity for prosperity here. This is a new business, it's a new job, it's something you can hold on to. That is your bag right there, something important such as a new job or raise, or it's a new opportunity that is solid, that is real, that could lead to long-term abundance, right? This is, this is stability, it's security, it's a gift. It's a gift. Somebody is going to be receiving a golden opportunity. Yeah, absolutely, it's right around the corner. It's, this is from uh, somebody that... has a lot of discipline. There is somebody here that has a lot of discipline. Anyhow, the five of swords, that is betrayal. It's defeat. A new idea, taking a new approach. Somebody needs to take a new approach. They need to walk away from a situation. The five of swords is about walking away from an unhappy situation. You know, if you're not happy in it, if it's not bringing you success, you, you have to find the discipline to walk away, to receive your gift, to receive your blessing. The ace of coins is a blessing. This is something you can hold on to. It's huge, it's huge. It's a huge golden opportunity that is going to be presented to somebody. But you have to take a new approach. You notice in this five of swords, he's got one sword in his hand. That's the power. You have to take the power in your own hands. You have to take control, you know? You know, you have to let go of your, your own control issues about holding on to a dead end. You got the four swords behind, four swords, and we got the four swords over here. That is a dead end, okay? This is exhausting, okay? It's mentally draining, okay? And it's emotionally disappointing as well. So you have to take that power. You have to be honest with yourself as well. You have to accept the truth. You have to honor the truth. You know, you have, to, you have to do what's right for you, you know? If you do what's right for you, you're going to have prosperity, all right? That is the sword of power. It's the sword of truth. But that is also a card of severing ties. The five of swords is a card of severing ties, you know, from a hostile situation where there's probably been a lot of conflict. There's been a lot of underhandedness. There's been a lot of competition, you know? Knight of Wands. Now the Knight of Wands is very action oriented. This is act now, think later. Charge forward, just do it. Remove the restrictions. It's 
right next to the Eight of Cups reverse. Somebody needs to get moving. They need to take action right now, right now, right now. Something, something's going to be coming in. It's going to be coming in fast. This is passion, desire, exciting. Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands. Now, the Nine of Wands is a wounded warrior, right? This is a wounded war warrior. We have some challenges here. We have somebody here that is has been hurt. They have been hurt. They're thinking about giving up. It's, look at that. I feel like we have somebody here that is thinking about giving up or they're on the edge of giving up. This is like somebody that is, you know, probably has some stiff boundaries, has been hurt really, really bad in the past, right? But that is the Ace of Wands in this person's hand. This is an exciting opportunity to start over. This guy's got his got his uh, armor off. He's taken off his armor. He is. I feel like we have somebody here that is on the verge of giving up. But there's one more chance. There's a chance here. This is passion. There's a chance for growth. You have to. I feel like we have somebody here that is, is, it's almost like they're counting their battles, you know? They, they, it's like all they know, it's all they know. I just, that's all I know. All I know is I have to fight, I have to protect myself. Built some sort of fortress of all the battles that they have overcome. We definitely have a warrior here that is very, very strong, that has an opportunity in their hand. This is the Ace of Wands. This is an opportunity for growth. This is exciting, just do it. This is a, the Ace of Wands is a new spark, right? It's a spark. It's a desire. It's a drive, right? This is, an, this is a, a chance for growth, okay? It's a chance for growth. So somebody's going to be given a chance. They need to take a chance. I feel like we have somebody here that is expecting trouble. They're on guard. It's like, I don't trust because we have somebody here that doesn't trust. They don't trust because... You know, they've been belittled. They've been, behind that is the Five of Swords. They've been belittled. They've been abused. You know, they've been uh, challenged their whole life. Three of Swords. Three of Swords is pain, it's suffering, it's grieving over a loss, it's heartache, it's 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 a painful separation. In the in the nine of wands right before that is uh expecting challenge, angry. We even have somebody here that's angry about all the challenges that life has thrown them, and they're trying to find the mental strength to go on. There's a lot of pain, there's suffering. We have somebody here that has a, an exciting opportunity in their hands, but they, they, I feel like they've been hurt so badly, because right next to it is the Three of Swords, they've been hurt so badly that they're fearful. They're fearful to take action. They're, they're fearful, they're fearful. They're fearful to take control. Then they're clinging to control. They're clinging to protection, trying to protect themselves. You know, rejection is God's protection, and I'm sorry that I have to say that again, but it's the truth. <clears throat> Three of Swords is pain and suffering. That is in the future, though. It's over here. I feel like we have somebody here that is suffering. They've really suffered. You know, they're, they're suffering over a loss. It's almost like they've pushed somebody away because they're, they're refusing to leave. They've pushed something away with that Five of Swords. We have somebody here that doesn't like to give up control. They've been hurt really, really badly. They've pushed somebody away. Pretending to be happy in their current circumstances, refusing to move on. Three of Swords. Painful. We have somebody here that is hurting. I mean, I just got to show you this, okay? Uh, it goes just like this. We have somebody here that is hurting. Okay, see that Three of Swords, this person is angry, they're upset, they're hurting, they're suffering, they're in some sort of pain, they're grieving. 
they don't may not realize that they're about to receive a golden opportunity. They're about to receive a huge opportunity. This is a gift from somebody that whoever is giving this opportunity, this is somebody that is strong. And it is. This is a strong individual that is going to is going to be giving somebody an opportunity. Mm. Knight of Cups, Two of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune reversed. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Swords. So the Six of Swords is, the, is a transition, right? It's the rite of pass it, passage. It's leaving behind a troubled situation, traveling in a new direction, moving on. Somebody is moving on. They're going somewhere. This is going somewhere. This is traveling. This is, this is uh, taking that new approach, going somewhere, going to a better place. Whoever you're dealing with, whoever the outside influence is, this person is struggling with the choice. They're struggling. They may be in denial. They're held back by fear. There is somebody here that is held back by fear with the two of swords. They're protecting themselves. We definitely have somebody here that is protecting themselves. They're, there's too much fear of the unknown. The, the wheel of fortune is the basis. This is... This is uh, it's a Wheel of Fortune reverse. This is a setback. It's a delay. Repeating negative patterns. No fortune. Unfortunate loss. Bad luck. Bad karma. Uh, going backwards. Somebody has been going backwards. They have been resisting change. They have. A cycle is over, but they have been resisting. It's like they got their foot in the wheel. They won't, they won't accept. They won't accept that a cycle is over. They're denying it. They're denying it. They're suffering. Uh, the Two of Swords, Three of Swords. I mean, they're right together. They're suffering. There's a horrendous loss here. Somebody is, is repeating negative patterns, right? They are they're, they're, uh, clinging to control. Real fortune reversed. Clinging to control, not allowing, not allowing um, the new life to begin. Staying put, staying put, staying put in their current circumstances, which is absolutely draining. Knight of Cups, Knight of Cups is looking for love, looking for right next to the Knight of Wands. They're right together. So we have somebody here that is going to be acting on their feelings. They're really in their feelings. Action is going to be taken. Okay. There's, their action is going to be taken. We have somebody here that is very fearful. They're fearful of their unknown. They have a guard up. They have their guard up. There's a need to come out of denial. There's a need to uh, let go of your fears. And I know that's hard to do. It's very hard to do. If you have to walk away from something that is emotionally draining, then you have to. You have a golden opportunity here. You're going to be given a golden opportunity. Okay, but you have to be realistic about it. You have to be practical. You have to be open-minded. You got to let go of your fears. Okay, you got to just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. That's the Knight of Wands energy. Act now. Think later. Listen to your intuition. Follow your heart. Okay, the Knight of Cups is intuition, intuition and heart. Listen to your heart. There's somebody coming in. They're coming in fast. They are coming in fast. This is a lover. This is somebody that is very passionate about what they do. Okay. Um, and I'm not sure if it's a lover or it's just some sort of emotional support. This could be emotional support. This is a healing energy. I feel like we have somebody here that I don't even know if they're on their deathbed or they're really sick or they're really depressed or something like that, but they've been refusing to take a new approach. I mean, we have this six of swords. This is going to be, this is a new approach. This is taking that new approach. This is going in that new direction, going somewhere. Somebody is going to be going to a better place. They absolutely are. There's been some sort of lies. There's been some sort of hostilities. There's been some sort of betrayal. We have somebody here that is very controlling. Uh, they've been very superficial. Okay. They've been, they've been putting out false impressions. I feel like there is something that has been ignored. Um, I feel like we have somebody here that is, 
Let me get one more card for that. Six of Swords reverse, refusing to take that new approach. Somebody's been refusing. They've been troubled mentally next to the Two of Swords. We have somebody here that is in some sort of mental anguish. You know, they're held back. They're in mental turmoil. They are struggling. They're struggling with their thoughts. They're struggling with the truth. They're struggling with accepting the truth. They're struggling with a decision. They're struggling with moving on. They're struggling with moving on. They're really, really suffering. They know they have to move on. Their intuition is here. They want to go move on. Their heart wants to move on. But it's a challenge to move on. This is somebody that has, is kind of like avoiding challenge. They have a passionate desire to do so. They really want to, but uh, maybe that Five of Swords is ego because the Five of Swords is definitely an ego card, right? It is an ego card. So we have somebody here that is in their ego, you know? They, they need to walk away from something that is probably abusive, right? Um, there's some sort of abusive or neglectful situation here. But anyhow, Right around the corner is the Ace of Pentacles. That is a golden opportunity. It's a gift. It's what you asked for. You're going to be given a, an opportunity. This opportunity will put you in a position where you have to make a choice. Connected to that is the Two of Swords. Okay, that's a painful, stressful decision. You're going to have to make a choice. Whenever there's a choice, there's obviously two options. So you're going to have to make a choice. Um, are you willing to move on or not? A minute ago we had an upright. Now we don't. Okay, you're going to stay stuck in this troubled situation or are you going to move on? That's what the choice is. Are you ready? Are you ready to go to a better place or do you want to stay stuck in these troubled waters? Do you want to keep keep uh, bailing yourself out? You know, or do, or do you want peace? Do you want harmony? Sixes are about the journey to balance and harmony. Is that what you want or do you want to stay stuck? That's your choice. Right next to it is a two of swords. Okay, it's a painful, stressful decision between two options. You can stay right here and avoid the challenge and continue to have you know, horrendous losses one right after another, or you can let go of the control and be flexible and take the new opportunity that leads you towards success, okay? The option is definitely going to be presented to you, okay? Good luck.